This is the TX Ultimate from Sonoff, and it's nifty. How nifty? Well, as a service to you, my viewer, I have measured just how nifty this device is using rigorous advanced analytical techniques, such as installing it and poking at it a bit. And I am prepared to share with you what I've learned through this complex and very scientific process. But I have to get a couple things out of the way first. I want to let the viewers know that while I may have been given the device to test, I have not been compensated or coerced in any way to give a positive review. I will never lie to my viewers because that would invalidate the purpose of critique. I am, at the moment, without sponsorship, and if I'm ever approached by a sponsor, I would only enter into an agreement if I believe it to be a fair-dealing, good-faith company, and I am not contractually forbidden from being honest about any product or its potential flaws. Lastly, there are going to be opinions I have about certain things that may differ from the viewers, so I will try to give as much of the facts as I can, along with my opinion, so you may draw your own conclusions with or without the more subjective points. Okay, with that out of the way, let's look at a thing. A Sonoff thing. Sonoff sent me several devices to review a few weeks ago. They sent me a TX Ultimate Touch Wall Switch, an NS Panel Pro 120, a smart bulb, a 433 MHz remote thingy, and this new Zigbee Smart Relay they've introduced this month, or so I'm told. That's right, I'm up on current devices because I'm abundantly hip and trend conscious. In the interest of meticulous analysis and satiating the ever-present algorithm that decides my fate, I am going to do individual videos on these items starting with the TX Ultimate 2-channel touch control and relay device. Let me begin by just saying right away that this is one of the two devices from the one sent to me by Sonoff that absolutely impressed me, but broke my heart for a little while anyway, but I'll get to that. Let's start with the packaging. I like all of Sonoff's visual designs for their product packaging. It's pretty simple. If it's not important to you, that's fine, but I like packaging that looks good because it shows intent and effort. There's more meat to this packaging than most other Sonoff products as well, which I guess protects the product a bit more, although it doesn't have to. The only thing I have mixed feelings about is the collector's edition style slide-on sleeve. It looks really cool, but it's a lot of unnecessary cardboard. Inside the box, you get the device, some mounting screws, and a small instruction fold-out. I don't particularly like the instructions because they are quite difficult to read because of the small font. The wiring for this device is pretty straightforward if you've done this sort of thing with any sort of relay control device. It wants a neutral wire in the N terminal, a hot wire in the L terminal, and you get two hots from the output terminals that you can use for your circuits. I don't have many standard light switches in the house because I have an old low voltage system from the 1950s. You can watch other videos on the channel about that if you're interested. One thing Sonoff sent me before this recent batch was an enclosure stand for the NS panel they sent me before as well. I love that stand, and I'll get more once they become available on their Amazon store, but for testing these devices, I just set up a temporary utility box. All of these style devices Sonoff makes have removable faceplates so that you can mount the device. Interestingly, they all have this 8-pin connector, too, but don't seem to be immediately interchangeable. At least, the way they snap into the plate is slightly different. I feel like Sonoff missed an opportunity here. If they made these interchangeable, I think more people would upgrade as new devices came out. And I'm fairly certain the only things in these that differs are the relays. The NS Panel Pro, for instance, doesn't have relays, but all of these panels run on 5 volts, and I bet this connector is some sort of standard for ease of manufacturing. Anyway, once you've wired and mounted the thing, you'll need to pair it. This one was already in pairing mode when I powered it on, but if yours isn't, or you wait too long to connect to it and it times out, you can re-enable pairing mode by holding one of the touch buttons for 5 to 10 seconds. Once it does this pattern, it's in pairing mode. Now you can scan for it with the U-Link app, I think. 
I use this app solely because I have this channel, as I am not a fan of cloud-dependent devices. But if that isn't an issue for you, the app does connect fairly quickly and easily to the TX Ultimate. This isn't my experience with all Sonoff devices, but you'll learn more about that in the videos to follow. So installation and setup is as easy as it gets when it comes to this type of device. Most devices use this same sort of procedure, so it's not super impressive that Sonoff did this well, but it is nice. Now, the device itself. The touch buttons are firmly sensitive. What I mean by that is that they won't respond to accidental brushing, but you don't need to palm the thing into the wall to get it to detect a press, though your wall would probably give out before the device does. Like the NS panel and several other Sonoff devices I've held, the panel and mount are substantial. This thing is really solid and heavy. I do love that. This being the TX Ultimate, you can set the RGB LED accent ring in the back to various patterns and colors, and it serves as an indicator for presses and modes, as demonstrated earlier with the pairing mode. Most of the lighting modes are sort of annoying and over the top, but a few of them are useful, or at least don't turn your hallway into a rave. Also, when you turn the relays on or off, you get these neat little sounds. I like it, but the off sound is a bit too doorbell sounding, and it's even more novel than the LED ring. I'm not saying that's necessarily bad, just that it's definitely added flavor, not nutrition. So overall, I really like this thing. In fact, because I pulled the NS panel from my enclosure stand and replaced it, which you'll find out about in the next video, I decided to use the TX Ultimate with a makeshift stand to control the two outlets that the NS panel did before. I actually plan to cut a hole in the top shelf and install this device directly into the nightstand. The most disappointing thing about this device is the Cloud app. You can take this offline and use it with another control device after you set it up, and that will also be covered in the next video, but you still need to put it online first. I will say I don't mind that as much because I usually do put my devices online initially in order to get firmware updates before moving them to my physically local only network. Barring the necessity of an app, I'd say this is one of my favorite devices. Not just favorite Sonoff devices, but favorite overall devices. It's cool looking, it feels super pro, and the novelty is just enough to make me smile and not groan. I'd give this device a B, and only not higher because of the app thing. There is a way around the app thing, as I mentioned earlier, but you'll have to watch the next couple videos to find out about that. In the next video, I'm going to cover the NS Panel Pro and why it might have given me a couple reasons to have more Sonoff devices. If you found this video insightful, informational, or at least entertaining, please give the algorithm the tasty likes it craves and draws its ultimate power from. If you really dig the video or are listening to me ramble for some reason, maybe subscribe, and if you're super into the channel, consider becoming a member like these fine folks who are not only good looking, but sweet smelling as well. To every viewer, I sincerely appreciate you giving me some of your minutes. Thank you for being here, and I hope you'll join me for future videos as I continue exploring Smarter Circuits.